so now using ohms law p is equal to ir so i is equal to e upon r by using cross multiplication i is equal to e is the emf which is equal to b v l we have substitute the value of b v l so the current is equal to minus b v l over r so here this is the induced current and this induced current is flowing in this circuit across the resistor i this is the induced current so now the force on this wire when it is move in a magnetic field is equal to i l v i is the induced current in the wire and l is the length of the wire and v is the magnetic field this force is equal to if we substitute the value of induced current over here this is equal to b v l upon r which is equal to into l so l into l l square b into b v square so the force is equal to minus b square l square v upon r this is the force experienced by the wire when it is carrying current i in the magnetic field so this is the force now so you know that when the current is induced in the wire and this induced current will flowing in the resistor will uh, dissipate heat in the form of the energy so we call it as a power dissipation so power dissipation is known as if we write it here the power dissipation the power dissipation in the resistor is p is equal to force into velocity this is the power dissipation so the power is equal force is equal minus b square l square upon r into this p so the power is equal to minus b square l square v square upon r so b v l this v v l is equal to emf so therefore power is equal to e square upon r this is again the power dissipation in the resistor so this power is equal to e square upon r because emf is equal to b v l and e square is equal to b square l square v square so this is known as the power dissipation and we call it as a emf induced due to the motion and it is known as the motional emf so here what we have learned that 